Let me just say, you look like a million bucks. What? You look, uh, you look fit and you look trim, yeah, and a lot you. of people. Spanx is working. The Spanx are working. <laughs> Uh, Cause you have two little girls, and uh, I feel like with dads it go either way. Like you have kids and you just give up. I have small children, and they keep you on your toes. They keep you on your toes. I thought about giving up. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I haven't slept. I guess I don't you're know running around a lot. Right uh, beautiful but girls. They're, they're the Come sweeties. on, look at those Come two. On. The uh, sweetest. That right there, that is a Kenan Thompson face if Come I've ever on. seen one. She is a ham. That's Georgia, and that's Gianna, the little one. Uh, little Georgia one's about to start walking. It's the best. There you go. They're off. They, and off they go. Yeah. You, uh, you are having this. Uh, you have, uh, obviously, a beautiful wife. You have two kids, and you are in your 17th season at Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. It's a blessing, man. I mean, I would say the same. We're two very, very blessed gentlemen. Yes, we Especially are. Especially the fact that you get to, like, stay so close. Yep. And you get to work, and you have a wife and two kids, and it's, you know, we have a great job here in 30 Rock, but the fact that you've graduated and you still can stay around, like, it's, it's, it's really It's not nice. bad. It's, uh, the other crazy thing is, of course, I remember, I think you came in my third year, I think was your first year. Mm -hmm. uh, but you had already done more sketches than almost anyone on <laughs> Earth. Well, that's thanks to Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you were on, uh, you were on all that. Yes, I was. And, uh... I sure was. Here we are there. That's a, that's a popular character. Yeah, uh, Pierre yeah, Escargot. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you feel, uh, when you came into SNL, and obviously it's a, as intense and stressful as everybody says, did that help? Did you think, oh, I've done sketches before, or were you as terrified as everybody else? It only else? helped on Saturday. Yeah. Because I was ready for this kind of thing. Like, the cameras are here, and I knew who to play to <laughs> at home. <laughs> um, but the writing part of it, I found that really difficult, because I didn't have to write at Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, we would just ad-lib, and then they would throw stuff in the script. But I, I really wished, like, I had, you know, finished college and, like, <laughs> you know, like, learned how to write. Because it, it took me a while. Like, the first sketch I wrote was, like, in my fifth season or something. Really? I didn't realize yeah. it was that yeah, long. Yeah, I mean, you did go to comedy college, it should be noted. Yes. And now uh, you are giving that gift to a whole new And cast. now the babies are bringing the show a new back. Look at that. There's that. a whole new yeah. cast. It's so awesome. So. Look at that. Look at Look at the faces. Do they? Sweetest. I mean, obviously, based on their age, did they have any uh, sense of what all that was? Is that a show that's still on to a place where I, they could? Nickelodeon's done really well with keeping it around, uh -huh. keeping it in like you know younger kids' minds, and like you know they're always reintroducing it, like '90s nostalgia and stuff like that. So yeah, they were hyper aware, but they're also super professional and super sweet, and they support each other in the greatest way. So if you got Instagram, go follow them all because it'll brighten up your day. <laughs> they are the sweetest little kids, and they're so on their thing. Uh, they're way more professional than I was at that age. It's, it's I want to talk about uh, your professionalism really quick, and I'm glad sure. you brought it up. Interesting. Because <laughs> sure. I have to take issue with something you did. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. You, uh, you played a character this week called uh, Thunderstick. Oh, yes, yes. Show. Part of the first mixed race royal couple. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge was a royal, and you were her she new husband, Thunderstick. And uh, right. people might not know this, but um, this studio is obviously empty uh, on the yeah, weekend. Yeah, because you work Monday through Thursday. Thursday well, should and we tell people that? Yeah, no, go for it. it. And, um, yeah. and so you so work you right down the hall. the gracious out of your heart to let us shoot in your Nobody ever right asks. Now. You just come here. On a, yeah. yeah. Uninvited. Very people kind. come. And you know, and the only thing I ask is like, respect the desk. You I know what you. I mean? The you get desk. that. Yeah. This, this is, is my like, home. For sure. Without the a, desk, I'm you nothing. You fought to establish this. Yes. Yes. And you were filming in this studio and I you was. sent me a photo. Well, I wanted you to know that we were here. Yeah. And you tell me if you think this is professional. Sure. Let's see. <laughs> what? You me a little... I just wanted to leave you a little gift. Is that, is that what you want, these children? I would love for them <laughs> to have that kind of relationship with their coworkers, yes. 